I attended City Point Christian College from grade one through to grade 12. I knew from a young age that I was gay, but when you are told repeatedly that you will go to hell for all of eternity for that feeling and for who you are, that kind of fear and trauma that it inflicts on a young mind, there are no words to describe it. When your teacher who you trusted says to you in reference to the gay community, don't let them turn you, it made me fear the very people that would have welcomed me with open arms and I ran in the other direction. I look back on those days and all I can see is a teenager who was hurting, who didn't know what to do or who to turn to. I come from a beautiful, supportive family, but because of the fear instilled in me by religion and by my teachers, I felt like I couldn't even talk to my own family. And this is what this type of language does. It isolates people. And in the isolation, that is where the danger lies. No child should be made to feel that they are alone in this world. And the language that is being used in these schools is doing exactly that. At the end of the day, a school's most important job is education and the safety and well-being of all students. Kids do not get to choose where they go to school, and they need somewhere to feel safe. And if a school can't provide this basic need, then they have no right caring for our children. We have seen with City Point the power of a collective and unified voice in action, but we have also seen what can and will happen if this religious discrimination bill is passed in its current form. And that is why it is so important that we use our voices to stand up against it. This bill does not provide freedoms. It is taking away people's freedoms. Time and time again, the LGBTQIA community have, have had to sit there while we watch everyone else debate our very existence and what we should and shouldn't have. Our basic human rights should not be up for debate. Our voices are being heard, and the majority of Australians support this bill being scrapped. Before I finish, I want to share, you all, share with you all a story that I was told just yesterday. As you know, students return to school on Monday, and last week, a boy who's going into grade six this year saw the stories on the news about what was happening at City Point, and he came out to his parents. He then said that he wanted to make a speech to his school and his friends because he didn't want to lie to them anymore about who he was. He then got up in front of his entire assembly and came out to his friends and his school, to which he received a standing ovation from the entire school. This story is just one example of why visibility and using our voices to spread a message of love, of acceptance, and of support is so important because our young people are realizing that they are no longer alone. What?